Yeah. All right, Coach. Good Tuesday practice. Good focus. Had some good things, some bad things. Got to clean some things up. I love the attitude. Went at it. Uh, got some new things in. Got the things we need to get worked on. Got their looks going in for the most part. And uh, had a good solid day. Good solid Tuesday. I, I was I was happy with it. Any more excitement out there? I'm sorry. Any more excitement you, th you see from the guys? No, you know something. Really I mean, but we I said that last week. We practiced probably as good as we practiced last Tuesday. This one was about like that. I mean, we were energetic and into it, and I don't know if it was any more. I mean, I thought it was just a good practice like we always do. I, I was very pleased with that. You able to get any more news on Bert? Uh, I saw he's out of the boot. No, he was out of the boot, and I, I think he'll be. He should be bouncing around, bouncing around tomorrow Thursday, pretty good, and, and be ready to go. Swelling went way out, and like not like we thought. I mean, what we think and we're anticipating him being there and ready to go. Xavier. Yeah, same thing. I think Xavier, Xavier's in real good shape. Xavier's in, uh, uh, probably could have went today. Just held him one day, and uh, he'll, be, he'll, be, he'll be in great shape. Feeling pretty good about both of them for Saturday at this point, at least? Yeah, at least right now, yes, I do. I do. Well, uh, what about Halstead? What's kind of the last in game scenario? Uh, anything, I mean, it's still lingering, still got some headaches again, so uh, I don't know if that one will, if that one will fly. I mean, I just want to make sure he gets well. That's the thing we got to get with him. Coach, we talked to Greg Reed today. He said that his suspension was essentially voted on by the team. Is the process always that democratic? Sometimes, mm -hmm. for the right things. I mean, and I say they have to take ownership for the team. You know what I mean? And and we coaches, we supervise and do the right things. But you know, you have to. They have to have the the power to uh, make some decisions and understand the consequences of things. And I think it also means a lot more to the team, uh, to the guy who's punished, when his teammates understand what's going on with that. So. As part of our process, and certain things, other things the coaches take over. But I thought that was one that we needed to put in front of our team. More progress from the running game this week? Yeah, I, I was pleased with that. I thought we ran the ball well today. Did some real good things. Uh, got better in there. Uh, really did. I was, I was very pleased with our running game today. You're, uh, the younger receivers have performed well early on, but this is obviously a different kind of test for them. What are you looking to see out of them, and what kind of contributions? Same thing, just to relax and be consistent and make the play, and, and, and play. And, and, you know, as, as I say, like it's uh, they're on that yellow school bus going to their high school rivalry game. It ain't, it ain't no different. Just go play and do what you can do and let your ability show and, you know, stay with the process. When, all, when, it, when nerves and all that hit you, you got to stay with the process, stay with your fundamentals, and play fast because they got plenty of ability. Coach Fisher, can you tell me some fundamental things that your team does on a weekly basis despite who you're playing to get ready for a game? We're exactly the same every week. I mean, what we do, how we go about our inside drill, how we go about our 707, how we go about our team, our blitz, and, and we're – Attention to detail and everything. To, to, to us, every game is a national championship. Every practice is a national. You have to practice like every practice is a national championship because you have to create that habit, and that's the fundamental that we want to instill in our guys. Everyone's talking about this Oklahoma offense, and rightfully so. Oh, yes. but what do we see on the other side of the ball from their defense so far? Uh, very athletic, good front guys that can run. Linebackers really athletic. Uh, cover good cover corners. Uh, safeties do a lot. They do a lot of different looks. They're in a, I mean, they'll be in four down. There are a lot of three down. They're in a lot of oaky stuff, and they're blitzing fire zone too. I mean, there's multiple as anybody we see. A lot of different looks, and uh, I'm sure we'll see them all on Saturday. Very well coached. Very well coached. Looks like Terrence Brooks played a lot early on Saturday. Did you see some things from him? Yeah, I, I've been very pleased. I'm, I've been saying Terrence Brooks is the guy who's really coming on. I mean, he's a guy. You play nickel, you play in dime, can play corner, can play safety, can do a lot of things, tackles well in space, has good ball skills, can run. I, I, Terrence Brooks is a very good football player and developing each and every day. Very pleased with him. Seems like he likes to hit, too. Oh, he does now. He's physical. He likes it. Hopefully our whole team likes to be physical. <laughs> You came to Gaines here before you were involved in the program. Mm -hmm. And just talk about the – Doug used to have a reputation of being a weird place to play and kind of rough as the night games and all that. Just well, recollections. Of I got a lot to do with those guys on the field. I'm going to tell you what, when it's fair to play, and it ain't all, all that noise in the sand is generated by them guys playing on the field and how well they play. But it is. He's had a lot of night games, and that was one of the things they prided themselves on. And, and that's why we want Florida State builds reputation. And uh, hopefully we can reinstill that this week and get a great atmosphere and environment. And hopefully we can go execute and play a great game for our fans and our people. Yeah, but having an opportunity like this, number one team in the country mm -hmm. coming to your place, that's the way your philosophy at all about, you know, playing these a bunch of tough out of conference games. No, I mean it's a great opportunity. Sometimes you do, I mean, but uh, that, our, our philosophy and what we do for my the way I'll do things is not. This, this is the game we scheduled, we're excited for it, we're ready for it, and uh, you know, and uh, we're looking forward to Saturday. We, uh, on, on what Jim, on, on what Ira said, I'm you've coached at Ira, uh, you've coached at LSU, you've coached at Auburn, two snake pits to play in. 
what are your recollections of Doak compared to those two back back in the day? Hey, when it's right, this this place is as good as anybody. When that chant's going and that and that band's cranked up, they go out and throw that spear and everything gets going. I mean, it, it it's as right as there is in college football. It's one of the great environments and it's it's the real deal. And uh, we look forward to seeing that on Saturday. Does it excite you to see that it's going to be 83,000 fans? It's two tickets, one in 15 minutes. Oh, yeah. I mean, again, I, you like to play in games where people are anxious to go watch them. You know what I'm saying? That's that's one of the reasons you coach, and that's one of the reasons you play. And, uh, we're, you know, we're looking forward to Saturday.